So to write your percussion part, it's a simple matter of using the rhythms that are available to you. Uh, this is a, a table of all the values that you should be using when writing a percussion part. Uh, there's rests, don't forget, and then there's note values, all of these different note values we've been learning all about them. So we've got semi-briefs all the way through to semi-quavers and their equivalent rests. Some of you have also been learning the French time names for, uh, for all of the note values we've been looking at in class. These are the French time names. If they help you work out the rhythm, then please by, uh, by all means use them. So you've been given this percussion template to use. I'm using it in Google Docs because it allows me to be able to show you electronically um, how to put all this together. You're gonna to be doing this by hand. You're not doing it on Google Docs. So you need to now take the rhythms from, from here and think how am I going to best suit these rhythms to my composition? A simple way to do it is to make sure that you are putting in a rhythm that complements what you've written uh, in, the, uh, in the melody part. Uh, so make sure that when you're using the rhythms that when you added a fourth layer of texture, which we're going to do at the top here, that you're not having four people speaking over each, uh, over each other. Each person in the conversation, i.e. each layer of texture, needs to complement everything else that's going on. So it's a simple rhythm. To fill out your percussion template, you just start experimenting with rhythms. I've already decided one I want to use, so I'm going to use a, uh, a minimum rest, followed by a crotchet rest, and then I'm going to put in two quavers. So when I put that in, pretty ordinary drawing of two quavers, but you'll be that as it may. When I put that over here, the rhythm for that is uh, in French time names. If I go down here, here's my minimum rest. So sa, a, sa, ta, te is the rhythm because here's my quavers. So sa, a, sa, ta, te. And this is what it sounds like when I put that together. If I put that over here, you'll see that this is sa, a, a, and then you'd get two claps on ta te. So there's nothing happening while the melody's playing, and then I've got two rests, or sorry, two quavers in my percussion part on the rest. I would repeat that because uh, the, the phrase is very similar here. So I get a nice rhythmic part that comes in with two quavers on the rest and lets the melody speak on its own. I would repeat that rhythm maybe add a little bit of variation in if I want, but uh, organizing and arranging rhythm is the best way to do it, or organizing and arranging melody is the best way to do it. So again, put in my rests, my really ordinary drawing of rests, and there's my other rhythm. I might decide in the third bar that I want to have two bars rest, and then I put my quavers, on the second beat. If I can draw it, there we go. So on and so forth. This is pretty much how you draft your ideas. So go through, draft the ideas, and then practice it against the melody that you have. If something doesn't work out, you can by all means erase those ideas. You don't have to continually use them. You can take them out as much as you like and start again. Um, it's a matter of getting in amongst your group and deciding which rhythms sound good and then bar by bar drafting out your rhythms. You may decide that you want to, pardon me, that you want to change your rhythms to something completely different. So you might just want to have rows of quavers and then maybe a minimum maybe. It's up to you. The, the rhythm choice is completely up to you. It just needs to complement uh, what you've written.